And a substitution in the offing. Chukweze. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. And he's made headway. There it is. Down to ten men, but don't write them off just yet. The opening goal, 1-0. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, that is going to go down as an own goal by the keeper. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Now what can they produce on the flank? Difficult to stop him. Teammates in the middle. Oh yes! What a classy goal! And make no mistake, there aren't many in the game who would have the confidence to even try it! Well, as you can see, they don't come much better than this. It's a goal of the highest quality. Wonderful piece of skill. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. On the attack in the closing phase. Oh, no! Not a moment the keeper will want to revisit. Well, he's got to pick himself up now. So underway again, and it's oh, it's in, and it goes down as an own goal by the keeper. Well, that own goal has put them behind. A oh, super piece of play. Must be. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Effective challenge. Oh, good vision. And they could do damage. Oh, good save. Excellent header. A corner then. And with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Over it comes. Oh, just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect to make. Davinson Sanchez Southampton losing possession here Sir Maxima and he might be through here and tremendous goalkeeping well he just made it so difficult for the striker his presence alone just caused him a problem very quick thinking there Ejuke committed challenge and we will have just one additional minute and he's in and a threatening looking ball oh and it goes the equaliser who saw that coming down to ten men but undeterred Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed. And then just look at the finish. And that is going to be all for this game. Well, we were treated to goals, but no winners in the end. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come.
And time for the change now. High pressing at its best. Newcastle come away with it. City pushing forward with options available. But they took care of the situation defensively. Able to get a body in the way. So a half an hour remaining. Now options are plenty. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum. And he did. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Holland. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. Well, some pretty big news coming through from one of the other games. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. Yes, it was a penalty for Southampton, but it was saved. The shot went straight down the middle. Goalkeeper didn't even have to move. The scoreline remains 3-0 with 64 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. And players waiting in the centre. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, the focus on many of the back pages coming into today's game, very much on him, facing his former club, facing his past. And that's not always straightforward, is it, Stuart? Well, it can work either way. Some players are inspired and play really well. Some feel overawed. I hope for his sake it's the first. It's a promising City move. Firing it in. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. 20 minutes to go in this one. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Potential opportunity for Manchester City to take the lead. Corner kick it is. Time for a change then. Short corner favoured. And close down straight away. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Will they profit from this situation? Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here it is again. And it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Getting the better of his opponents. Can he put it in? And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Promising sequence. Great opportunity. A smart stop here. 
And Gomez. Firing it towards goal. Well, able to close down the short. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Right, just getting word that there's been a goal at Stamford Bridge. Let's hear all about it from Alex. It's the goal for the Saints. They're back in this now with under five minutes left to play. Sorry, Alex, could be a goal here. And he's struck the post. And there it is. That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, just watch this again. He's bright, he's hungry, and he's determined. That's a good finish. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Musa Barrow. Can he do it? Oh, a smart stop. Cook two. Now with Hakimi. And the cross goes in. That's a routine take. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. And there goes the final whistle. It is a happy story as far as Newcastle are concerned. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. Caballeros, you're safe this time, amigo, huh? The man of the moment, in fantastic form and the top scorer in the league. Can he add to his tally today, live on EA TV?
Hello and welcome to the northeast of England. We're at St James's Park on what is a rainy day. I'm Derek Ray in position to bring you live match commentary and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Newcastle United up against Crystal Palace. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And a goal update to bring you from the Emirates Stadium. Alex Scott. It's a goal for Villa. It's now 1-0 with only two minutes played. The game has been fascinating so far, Derek. Thanks for the update, Alex. And options in the centre. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. That's a useful cross. Well, it's a moment he would like to have back, if possible. Well, for Newcastle United, you have to conclude everything went to plan in their win against Manchester City. How might this one go, Stuart? Yes, that was the all-round team performance, wasn't it? They could have won by more than 3-0. Their fans absolutely loved it. Today, we'll follow a similar pattern, and I expect them to win by the odd goal. Chukwese. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Nicely timed tackle. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. And over comes the corner. And no way through. The delivery. No nonsense clearance. Saint Maxima. Gives it a go. And still danger here. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Well, they might be piling on the pressure. But they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. Just hearing something has happened at the Emirates. Let's find out what. Here's Alex. Yep, yeah, it's a goal for Arsenal. You could see he knew what he wanted to do as he stepped up to take that free kick because it was executed superbly. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 24 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Hughes. Oh, managing to beat him. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Joe Willock. Well, those stats tell you everything. Newcastle have enjoyed the majority of possession. But with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one. Gabi. Nuno Tavares. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. And well, it was a good-looking sequence, but it comes to an end. And he's in. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Moving forward effectively. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Corner kick played in. Well, the first half story has been written. Half time here at St. James's Park.
Away they go again. Second half is underway here. And space to cross it. And still an opportunity. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Oh, a vital interception. Ducouré. Well, the transfer stories appear to be real. There's some substance behind this one, Stuart. Well, according to reports, there has been an official bid made. It's now just a case of whether clubs, agents and player can agree the figures. Hughes. Oh, it might be. And keeping it out. And over it comes. Not away completely. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Thirty minutes to go then. Hope Mainers looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Newcastle United taking on Chelsea. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy. Options in the middle. And the flag has gone up. Offside. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Possession lost by Newcastle. Can he find the right pass? Oh, this is looking promising. Played into the centre. It's a perfect challenge. Saint Maxima. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Well, he had the measure of it, the goalkeeper. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Who can they pick out? And whipped into the box. Well, really, making the goalkeeper's life simple. That should be hit in the back of the net. That was a big, big chance. Just 15 minutes remaining. And Crystal Palace moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? And a tidy challenge. Keita. Well, if you're going to challenge like that, it has to be spot on. What do the referee think of it? And the referee's verdict, excessive force. And off he goes. Well, he had to go for that. That was a very dangerous challenge. Time for a change then. 